What is up guys, Dracon here bringing you guys a quick mumble guide. Mumble is one of the best voice chat softwares out there. Now the first thing we want to do is download the installer which can be found on their website mumble.com. We are going to download the Windows version because I use Windows without the skin. Um, there's nothing wrong with the skin, I just personally don't like it. Alright, now we are going to open up our downloads folder, run the installation. Alright, press next, accept to the license agreement, next. Now, uh, here's the Mumble client, what we're going to be using, and then Murmur. Murmur is what you need to create your own servers, but we don't want that, so we're just going to press next, install. Now, this usually takes around a minute, should be pretty quick. I'll skip to when it's complete. Alright, so here it finished, we're just going to start Mumble right off the bat. The first thing we're going to see is called the audio wizard. If you accidentally close it, it's fine. I'll show you guys how to get back to it. But this is what it looks like. Um, I'm going to press next. Uh, uh, leave, leave everything, everything on, on default, default devices. devices. Check, Check both, both boxes. boxes. This is an example of speed. We're going to skip those two steps because it's fine with default. And this is the most important part, the voice activity detection. If you want to use push to talk, you can uh, enable it here and then use the key. I use the little asterisk, it's easier for me. Or you can use raw amplitude from input. What this means is when it hears you talk, it'll turn on the microphone. You want to set it up to where the red bar is where your voice is at when you're not talking. So if you're typing on a keyboard, so it's somewhere around here. So we're going to move our, our mouse, mouse right, right here. here. So, basically so basically our, our microphone, microphone will activate, activate when, when I'm talking. talking. Gonna go next. Leave this is an default. example. Next, and we do not want to submit because that's creepy. All right, so here you see public internet. All this is is it's a bunch of servers that you can join and talk on, but I won't need that because I can I can add my own. All right, so we're just gonna leave that for now. Um, what we want to look at is the audio wizard. The thing that you use to set up, you can always come back to it. Or you can just go to the settings, um, enable the advanced, and then here's the bar that you can mess around with or change it to continuous or push to talk. Notice that push to talk, you need the audio wizard to change the button. So other than that, if you want to just mess around with the bar, you can always just do it in the settings. It's a lot easier and faster. Um, the next thing I wanted to take a look at is adding a new server. So you want to go to the server page. Um, you just press the add new and here you're going to need information. Um, label just means what it's going to show up as in the list. Address and port is the the two most important things that you need from a server and then the username whatever people want to see your name as. So I have a couple saved over here. I'm just going to copy paste to save time. Just like that. And then I'm going to do Dracon because that's what people call me. All right, and you can see the server right here. You can connect to it. Connected. All right, so you will see there's a bunch of channels here. Now, uh, most of these channels are not password protected. Um, if you want to make your own channel, you need to find a server that allows you to do that, such as this one right here. It says private channel. See, these don't let you add a channel, but private channels lets you add your own. So we're just going to name one test one. You were moved to test one by the server. To it, if you want to add a password to it, you just right click edit and then you put the password right here just like that okay now if somebody wants to enter this channel they will not be able to what they will need to do is they will need to create an access token with the password alright how you want to do that is you want to just go to server access tokens add an access token and name it password which is what the password was so now this person with the access token password you can see it's right here will be able to enter this channel and that is it, guys. Have a great day. Peace.